Well, here's another dodgy live broadcast with no production values whatsoever from the local river. You'll know that this river is the one I cross a lot uh, to do the dandelions and the uh, damselflies and all the rest of it, the macro challenge. Well, now I've decided to get into the river. I've got my very slick and dodgy waders on. Um, this week it's Mental Health Awareness Week and like a lot of people, I suffer from some self-doubt and loathing and stuff like that. There are days that are pretty bad for me where I kind of doubt my ability and what I'm doing during lockdown. I kind of just want to be useful and do something worthwhile. Um, so on those days, I recognize it and I know to get out and do some photography and really challenge myself. And I've decided to really challenge myself on this river by getting down um, to the damselflies and particularly the beautiful male, the demoiselles, the amazing electric blue ones. I've seen some places on the river, I've been wading all week, which are really fantastic to photograph them. I've been having some tremendous success with the most popular picture on Twitter we've ever done. So come with me, let's have a wade and let's go and see what we can find. Well, other people would film this using a drone, <laughs> uh, typical cheap here. Uh, I'm filming it holding the uh, iPhone on a long stick. Um, as you can see, I'm in, and it's always the first five minutes when I'm more likely to fall. Um, my waders have also just reminded me that they have a leak, which is not great right at the start of a four hour shoot. Um, but there's nothing better for me than walking in the water. I've got the damselflies all around me. I've got water boatmen, I've got all kinds of stuff. It's just awesome. I just love being here and I can't wait to get started. It's about another 20 minutes wade this way to one of the best areas I've found. So. Let's go, but I tell you what, it saves going to the gym. Yep, it's official. These waders are leaking. <laughs> I've got a wet bum and wet socks already. I think it's time for a pair of new waders. They've done me well. I did all my greaves with these and all the rest of it. Um, first big tip for you, if you're gonna do stuff like this in the water, get all your gear safe on the riverbank. Don't leave it in the rucksack. Get everything out and put it safe. If you leave it in the rucksack and your, your mind's somewhere else, I've seen rucksacks gradually go Ehh! Well, here I am in my corner of damselfly heaven. Um, I mean, these are called damozels and they're just beautiful damozels. They're amazing. Got the electric blue males here. I've got a few females as well coming in and laying their eggs really interestingly um, on a lot of the foliage all around me. And because they're used to me now, literally I had one land on my shoulder a minute ago. I could hear the flapping. I'm getting them just as they come. There's a leaf that goes over the, you'll see, just goes over the brook there. And I'm getting them as they come under and over that. It gives me a point of focus to get the focus locked on as a starting point. And they can very quickly adjust with a continuous, uh, hopefully get a focus lock and blast away. <laughs> also another technique I could use is when they land, I can get pro capture on them, halfway down the shutter button, recording the buffer. When they take off, let it go. So here's another technique that you can use. If you don't have Pro Capture, okay, don't have the Olympus system, okay, but you want to try this, it's easy. Uh, well, easy, you know, uh, the technique is easy. The reality is very different. Um, you, you find something where they're landing on. I've got this little perch going across the river here. They're flying under and over it when they're chasing each other. So you can focus on that perch. When you see them flying over or under it, then you start the motor drive and maybe you'll catch one as they go through or above. Look, I didn't say this is easy. This is harder than a cheetah running. This is high, harder than a tiger hunt. You know, this is about one of the hardest things I have done. <laughs> you know, it's just a magical thing to watch. I never thought that as somebody who travels the world in search of big animals and stuff, I've always been away at this time. I've never looked at this stuff and lockdown has forced me to be here. And also, obviously I want to come out and give myself something to do to keep myself mentally positive. I've been forced to do this. And you know what? I'm never going to be forced again. I'm going to become damselfly king. I'm going to become king of damselfly conservation. Mr. Mr. Damselfly, that one just flew wonderfully out the backlight, which has given me a few ideas there. Um, world domination of damselflies. And I must carry on because in order to be a world domination of damselflies, I have to get some pictures first. Just allow me my dreams, will you? All the sparkling water in the background. It's just very, very beautiful and simple. Um, and I'm just getting that because I've watched it and I've noticed that this reed here over the river, they're perching on a lot. I keep splashing it um, every so often to get it nice and glistening. I've obviously got the shutter speed very high um, by having the ISO high. Even though it's bright and sunny, I've got the ISO on 800. It gives me a four thousandth of a second, sometimes a six thousandth of a second. That's well enough uh, for doing this kind of action. Do you know what? This river is not in a hurry to go anywhere and nor am I. I've learned from it and I'm just loving being here. It's just fantastic. 
Might have got that one. Can't see on the viewfinder, so I've got to see in here. Oh, that looked like wings out there. <sighs> Little victory dance there. Do you know, I'm sitting in a river. It's a sunny afternoon. It's great. I just love it. I kind of wish there wasn't a major road next to me <laughs> with all the lorries going by, but it's still peaceful and it's still gorgeous. And it's so soporific, you know, the sound of this water. Oh, it's just making me want to get a lilo out and lay on here and just drift gently down the river all afternoon. Uh, I'd actually go about two feet because there's a log there. But anyway, the, you know what I mean. It's kind of my little Bahamas right here. You may wonder why I'm reviewing constantly in the camera rather than shooting. Well, this is technically a very, very, very difficult thing to do. And the margin for error is tiny. So I'm just making sure um, that I'm getting the, everything right. And what I've discovered is that I need to probably be on manual focus because I need to focus when they're on the, 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 the uh, branch that goes across like that, they're generally jumping forward. So I need to focus right on the front edge and auto focus, I'm not gonna hold it. So I've clicked the lens clutch there onto manual and I'm manually focusing it. And the same for this branch here, just on the side. Um, I'm just focusing along the branch so that when it jumps, it jumps into the plane of focus rather than out of where it's in focus, if you understand kind of what I mean in a random kind of way. Look, I'm in a river. I'm chilled, man. I could do some yoga. Sometimes they actually catch something on the wing. Uh, this guy that's just taken off there has actually had an aphid or something. I couldn't see what it was in its mouth and was eating it. And it's quite brutal. You know, they're eating it. You see the thing flailing everywhere and they're just happily. <laughs> Makes me quite hungry for a biscuit. I keep forgetting biscuits when I come out. I've got plenty of room down here. In, in, no jokes, please. There's plenty of room in here. It's a little bit tight, I have to say. Thing about pro capture, you've got to remember that as soon as the action happens, I'm waiting for them to take off. Once they take off, that's when I've got to press the button down. And it's a real mindset that you take off, you think, oh, I've missed it. Because normally, you know, you'd be pressing the button at that moment. You've got to just wait until they take off and then press the button. So it takes a big mindset. And I'd say 50% of the time, I forget. You see me leaning across like this. I'm trying to get parallel to the one that's here. It's no good if they're facing away from you. Oh, oh, oh I'd really good one on the perch there. It's no good. Oh, he's on the top perch. Hold on. Ah. He's talking to you lot. That's what does it. Um, you've got to get parallel. I've got one on this perch here, but he's always this kind of angle. So I'm, I'm trying to get either this way or this way so I can keep parallel to him. Otherwise you get the wings in focus and the head out or the head in focus and the wings out. It's all right if that's the composition you want. I've got a million of those. I'm trying to get something else. Here's one. Uh, I've got to stop talking to you. <laughs> so I've been here a couple of hours and I'm pretty knackered holding the lens all the time. I'm not going to use a tripod because I've only got one tripod here and that's holding this up. And also I want to be free to change the compositions, but all the effort is worthwhile when I get this and you can't see it. Hopefully now on the screen, you can see it. Look at that, look at that. I mean, I can't tell you how emotional I am at taking stuff like that. It's just so beautiful and it's just so incredible to be here. You know, it's so uplifting. And then I take that. It's just, oh, just can't get enough of wildlife photography right now. And I can't get enough of sitting in this river. <laughs> Well, that's it from me. I've got to go because I've got a webinar starting in two hours time uh, with a great group of people that want me to teach them about shooting backlight, which I love doing. But I tell you what, it's been amazing here with the damselflies. I just absolutely have loved it. And I'm not a damselfly expert. I would really love to know a lot more about what they're doing. But just to sit here with the fish swimming all around me, the buzzards calling overhead, the chiff chaff, the wrens, and all these guys fluttering around me, landing on me, watching them go through all of their life cycle. It's just fantastic. The photography is just a bonus. And you know, to reconnect and be out with nature like this is just awesome. And I hope that you've enjoyed seeing it. I hope that you've picked up some tips, but uh, more than that, I hope that you've got a desire to go out and try it yourself. It doesn't matter if you don't have damselflies, uh, just get out there in nature, take some pictures, challenge yourself, and make yourself feel good because right now that's a great thing to do. See you later. Bye. I'm going to take a long time getting home like this, aren't I? Oh, does my bum look big in this?
Do you think I enjoyed that? Yeah, just a little bit. I think you can tell by the pictures and the way I was in the river. I just love mucking around. I wanted to make that wide angle so special for you. I hope you really enjoyed it. Thanks for being with me throughout this journey. We're not through lockdown yet here in Wales. We're still on lockdown. So tomorrow I'll be starting one of my next projects right here uh, on the river. Uh, but hopefully some bird life this time. So I'll let you know, as always, how I get on. If you want to see how I use light, have a look at the website. We've just announced our new dates for the July Working With Light webinar. And as always, please subscribe if you like it. As always, thanks. I'm doing it all for you. See you again very soon.